Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? I prevented it from being damaged, so we might still learn something by analyzing it. It said something to me. The truth is inside. I don't know what that means, unless it was just another error in its program. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I think he's irritable and socially challenged. But I also think he used to be a good detective. He's an intriguing character. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will try to establish a friendly relationship. If I can get him to trust me, it will be helpful for the investigation. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. says they cut it with something. Maybe they're trying to add a new form of red ice. The forensics. All right, chase it up. Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks.
call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I gotta be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about it. Androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick! Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off! You are a police lieutenant! You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth! You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay, huh? okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel! This conversation is over! Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do.
I'm very pleased to have joined the team. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah, there is one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out.
243 files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. I understand you're facing personal issues, Lieutenant. But you need to move past them, and... Hey, don't talk to me like you know me. I'm not your friend, and I don't need your advice, okay? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.
That's all for now. Pretty go. We've got officers sweeping the neighborhood in case anybody saw anything. Okay, well, let me know if they turn anything up. What are you gonna do with that? I have no idea. Driver saw it at 2.30. Stolen clothes from a laundromat. Seen at a convenience store. It stole wire cutters. There must be a reason. Wire cutters? What the fuck are you talking about? I checked the CCTV while you were questioning the clerk. The android was caught on camera stealing them. It had wire cutters, and it was looking for a place to hide. So what's your conclusion, Sherlock? misunderstandings. <laughs> Ralph will cook. We will do just like humans do. Humans like burnt meat. <laughs> come. Come and sit down. <laughs> That's very kind of you, Ralph. But we have to go. Go? <laughs> no, you will go once the little girl is eaten. <laughs> we will eat together just like a family. The father, the mother, and the little girl. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Ralph went to a lot of trouble to find something for the little girl to eat. <laughs> it wouldn't be polite for her to refuse, would it? She's very hungry. The little human is not gonna regret it. <laughs> Ralph found the best, the biggest one he could find. <laughs> this is going to be succulent. Succulent. <laughs> Go ahead. Eat. the body upstairs. You killed that human, didn't you? No. No, he was like that when Ralph found him. You killed that man, Ralph. There's no point in lying. You hate humans, but you're just like them. You're a murderer. Ralph didn't mean any harm.
Don't be afraid. I'm not gonna hurt you. There's blue blood on the fence. I know another android was here. Ralph scratched himself coming through. That's Ralph's blood. I'm looking for an AX-400. Have you seen it? Ralph's seen nobody. Are there any other androids here? Other androids? No. Ralph is alone. Is anyone upstairs? No. Nobody. train station. Get away. They won't. 
you will get yourself killed! Do not call her! God damn it! 